Do you see here? Hi guys and gals. Well, this is not going to be a standard video as I usually do them. It's going to be a slideshow. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just basically chatting and we'll see how it comes out. I saw that a few years back it was with Andy, uh, so Fekwig and made some slides. Okay, this first one here is little me. Uh, the picture is probably around 1958 because I'm holding myself up so I'm born in 1957 and that is at our our house uh, that we had that was only I was gonna say very short distance from the American border very short uh, and uh, this place believe it or not had uh, no electricity uh, yeah I mean I'm an old guy so here I am looking uh, very happy. I suppose it was my mom that took the picture. Yeah. So we're just going to move on. These are not in order, so they're just going to take them as they come. So this one, I'm not in the same town actually now. We're in another village, uh, the next village over. My parents had bought a house. I'm uh, not very old there, but I'd probably say I'm... Well, let me see, my sister looks pretty young, so I'm, would I be around 11, something like that? I don't know, 10 maybe? And um, the uh, building in the back was, uh, my, my dad had built that for uh, putting uh, his, uh, we had a farm at the time, and then, so he'd put like machinery in there, combines and stuff like that. And so here I am with my sister, and we were getting ready to make a snowman. There was a lot of snow there. I mean, we uh, we did a lot of little, I was going to say, things with the snow. And that we had a lot of big grounds. So it was a great place to be a kid. I mean, uh, you could, you know, just not worry about, uh, if you were a parent, I mean, you didn't have to worry about where your kids were. First off, I mean, they'd be on your own grounds, because we just had such large grounds. Let's move on, because there's a lot of pictures here. So let me see now. The next one. Oh, goodness. Look at the car in back there. So that's me. Uh, that is around... I'm around between two and three years old, I guess. That's at my grandparents' farm. I don't know whose car that is, but that's pretty cool. And I've just noticed the person in the corner... That's my granddad. Yeah, he had one of these... Uh, what do they call pipe caps? You know, like the ones that you find in the old old movies of people in Africa. And uh, I am learning how to shoot, and there was that little bear. Yeah, I mean that's pretty cute. I, I like that picture a lot because it uh, it does bring back souvenirs. I mean, of uh, with my grandparents. Oh, okay, this one. We're jumping back to uh, the house where I was born, the first one. And looks like I'm getting ready to be hungry. Yeah. So, what's this next one? Oh, goodness. This is a family meal at my grandparents. So, my mom's parents. Now, this is a long one. I mean, a long time ago. Um, and it is very, in a way, very emotional for me. My sister's not even born yet. My brother is right beside my grandmother at the far end. And cousins over there. You know that I've reconnected with those cousins like after probably 30 years thanks to Facebook. Unbelievable. Yeah. Now if you go to one of my first videos, um, which I won't even give the name actually. If you go to my, web, uh, my YouTube page, uh, it is going to be... The one that is actually on the page, you know, like like when people come for the first time, and I talk about my grandparents. Move on. My dad was um, I was going to say a really bright guy. He had almost no formal education, but you will see in this picture two of his greatest accomplishments. I would say the swimming pool behind is actually. Everything, I mean everything, is made from his own hands. Uh, the wood was cut from an, a, a silo. Uh, 
he did the landscaping and as you notice the motor uh, the motorcycle the snowmobile is uh, hacked in a way so that he could use it in the summer yeah he was a great person in that respect my grandmother I put this picture up here some people might laugh when I put that there because that's one of my first experiments with slides and you can see it's already much not great but there's a funny always a funny story behind that my grandmother would go into the swimming pool and uh, she uh, wanted me to take a picture of her which I did she's probably let me see let me see she'd be just about 60 probably there going to say she's my age and um she uh, was going around everybody telling bernard wanted to take a picture of me well i suppose now i'm very happy i did that's a picture from our living room or our lawn uh, in the town we live it's called sutton and that is mount mount sutton there's a ski center there it was lovely picture and uh, that was the view that we had every day. Uh, so I guess you can see that I kind of like uh, mountains, don't you? <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, this is where Mrs. D.C. Uh, lived when I met her. They had a horse uh, ranch actually there at the time. And uh, if some of you remember my stories about proposing and so on. Well, actually, it was at this I was going to say at this house, on the grounds here in this house. So we're going to move on. Uh, these are all, like I say, digitalized slides or pictures. This is my dad's uh, swimming pool, the one he built. So you can see that the, there's the wall, which of course he went and got the stones and so on. <clears throat> well, I mean, officially we did help him, but you know how it is. I mean, he did the biggest part of the work. That was our house. Uh, my mom will probably be watching this and she'd say, why did you show that? Because that's where we lived. It was a small house. It was nothing special, but, you know, it was home. We live next to a church. And here we are. Look how my sister feels at ease. Because the priest allowed us to go up on top of the steeple. And so here we are taking, uh, we were my dad, and we're taking pictures. So that's myself, my brother. Do you like the cowboy hats? Hey, don't we look cool? Wow. Okay, and from there, from there we had pictures. So the house, uh, you can see our home. Can you notice a small yellow, well, it's a yellow station wagon? <laughs> it's the third house. Uh, my dad painted it, decided, I don't know, he did got in his mind that he didn't like the color of the car. My mom will correct it. Why? But he painted the car. It was ugly. And he painted it with a brush. Oh well. We had dogs. I mean, most of you know that. We had... These are two of the dogs, actually. That's King and uh, Noato. And uh, my dad would put them to work. I mean, and it was pretty cool. I mean... My dad was pretty special in that respect. You know, people knew him. <laughs> okay, moving on. Easter, when we were kids. Now, this is taken from a slide from my parents. You notice the slides are square here. I don't know if you can see that, actually. Actually, all the square slides are my parents' slides. And look at the big bunny that we had bought. And we marveled at the time with the slides because we said, look, you can see the orange juice and look how nice it looks. It's actually yellow and cool. Look how young we were. Really, my sister had her bunny, yeah. Again, we were pretty young there, so it's like early teens. Moving on, it's about the same period we were at my granddad's. Uh, it is Easter because if you look on the table, there's hot cross buns. And next to my granddad is one of my cousins. And on one side is my brother and the other side is my cousin behind him. Her, yeah, behind him is my sister. You might notice something about my granddad. He wore checkered shirts like I often wear myself. Moving on quickly. My brother, my uncle, which was my father's brother, he was a real, still is actually, a real man. He'd go hunting, canoeing, whatever you could think that a real man should do. This picture, I had to really work to get out the details. And on his truck, there is... 
a moose head. Yeah. Oh, the first picture I showed you, that was our house. Um, after we had uh, sold it, a few years after, it was burnt. Yeah, so that is the house where I was born. Lake Men from Agog, and in the background, Owl's Head. I had a very... Oh, I mean, the souvenirs we have of that lake, oh, they're just incredible. My uh, granddad's cousin was called Hibbert. We'll see pictures of him in a bit. Hibbert was married to Lucy, and they did not have any children. Uh, this, we're on Hibbert's boat, and Hibbert took early retirement... Well, I don't know if it was that early, actually. But anyway, he was an engineer and took early retirement. Or millwright, something like that. Millwright. Took early retirement. Well, I get there. And he had bought a cottage. Just simply a cottage. I've taken, I've shown pictures and other videos of his cottage. And uh, he would go um, on the lake every day, of course, in the summer or what. And we would go fishing, trolling with him. And yeah, it was fantastic. I mean, we really liked it. We would go on vacation there for a few days. So Hibbert and Lucy, and I can't remember their dog, what it was called, but it came, uh, we, that's their place inside the cottage. And uh, he was a crusty old guy, but we liked him. And uh, she was a fantastic lady. Really, really nice. And here are some of the fishes. Now we're at our home in Sutton. So, these are two fishes that we had caught at Hibbert's place. Yeah. Some of you have seen this picture before. So, this picture here, it was myself with my dad, and uh, there was this little cabin, so you can see we're with the dog sled. And this was a renowned little cabin in the middle of the woods. Renowned, why? It was a little... Bordello, yeah. Well, maybe it wasn't officially, but it was certainly used for that. Anyway, it was known around. Many, many times in our life, we would climb up a small mountain called the Pinnacle. And my dad would always bring up his chisel, and he would add a year to uh, where, where, where he, he is. There's actually every year that we climbed up on it. And uh, you can see the view in the background. Love that place. What souvenirs. By the way, the hat that my dad is wearing, <laughs> he was the boss, so he had the white hat. And all of those hats, I don't know if there'll be other pictures of them, they're made with garbage bags that my grandmother had somehow, I don't know, crocheted together or whatever. So we all had our garbage bag hats, but we weren't allowed to have the white one. Oh, here we are with Hibbert. We're on Lake Men for Magog. And no, I am not sitting on the can. Well, yes, I am actually sitting on the can. But I am uh, uh, ice fishing. And that's what we were doing. So on the right side, there's someone in red. That's my mom. Next to her, my sister's sitting down. My, dad, my brother's standing up. My dad must be taking the picture. Okay. Okay, so this is a story here. When you live in a small village, uh, it doesn't always take much to get people excited. The house that you see there, our neighbor had bought an apartment building that had to be torn down. But he bought it and moved it all the way through the village uh, to our place, uh, next to our place. I don't know if I have pictures later on, but it was like a it was like a party in town. It really was when that was moved. Okay, my dad and myself, we have one day apart. I'm on September 7th, he's on September 8th. Yeah, he's a pretty young man there, and I'm a young boy. So, a birthday party, yeah! Great, what a big cake. Oh, yeah, so here it is. So here, that's that, that house coming up. Hey, look at there, I mean, you should have seen the whole crowd. People came out of the woodwork. I used to go to school with those two girls. I remember them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. I wonder if I'd recognize them, or if they would recognize me. What is this? Oh! Bernie Boy was a Boy Scout. 
My brother's the one who's cooking there. I'm doing, what am I doing? Wiping dishes? I don't know, probably not. So we were out on one of our Boy Scout trips. Snowmobiles! My dad had the snowmobiles. He built the, the sled behind there. And the snowmobile in back, which I had been driving, broke down. So as you can see, we're all in the snowmobile and the sled trying a limping back home. <laughs> wow, that's a long time away. Okay, so, so we're jumping back to the swimming pool. I tell you, they're in no particular order. This is, uh, let me see. No, this is not my dad, but he had done it himself, but it was one of the neighbors. They were digging out the, the hole for the deep part of the swimming pool. And here you can see they're starting to build it. So there's the rocks down the base before the cement will be coming. That was our neighbor. So we're all looking on, but actually we did go and help. But uh, that is very impressive. I say my dad was quite a guy. Still is. And here, yeah, I mean, cement, filling it in, yeah. And uh, if I'm not wrong, I'm going to have to ask my mom, but I think they actually they moved the shed that I showed you in the first thing. They moved it over. You can see there's, a, there's something in there. Actually, it looks like it could be the bulldozer. Not certain. Anyway, look at that white guy with the orange trunks next to the one with the white one was my brother. My first time at the ocean, Hampton Beach. I found the water so cold, and the people are looking at us because they probably thought I've never they never saw anybody so pale faced as myself. I got the sunburn of my life. I think I almost died. That was a vacation which I vlogged about probably in my second or third YouTube video. Oh, unbelievable. The famous swimming pool again with my grandma in there. It's not finished as you can see. It's still dirty all around, but still, I mean, we were in it. Yeah. Three more pictures. You probably were wondering when Mrs. DC would be coming in. Well, that was around high school time. I was, I was not quite 16 when I met her. And here, this is our high school graduation. Yeah. And by the way, I am not quite that much taller than her. That was the period of the world and the time of the world where guys would wear these platform shoes. Some of the older people might even remember those. Yeah, so I was wearing those. And you know something? I learned to respect when women would walk with high heels. Oh my goodness. I wore, I had a pair of those, but I didn't wear them very much because frankly they weren't very comfortable and that's us again now I am a, a head taller than her but here I'm a little bit more than a head that's because of the shoes yeah and by the way she made her her, her graduation dress and don't you like my jacket oh wow things have changed haven't they so let's see what is this last one? Oh, okay the last one here it's still in our house in Sutton, Quebec. That's before we moved. Now, I'm a proud guy. I have a girlfriend with me. Yeah. And we're having a meal at home. And it is very interesting, actually. If you look at the... I was going... Oh, it must be Christmas. Yeah, it's Christmas because of the tablecloth. Oh, boy. Old memories. Anyway. So, DC will be signing off, guys. This was a... Uh, huh. I was going to say, traveling back in time, in history. So, take care everybody and hope you have a good, well, actually it's the end of Sunday actually, so I hope you had a good weekend. Take care everybody, bye-bye.